depth and, and size over USF here. Go, go, go. Ah, oh, crap. Defense. Come on, defense. Come on, defense. It's your birthday. Shake your booty. <laughs> well, it looks like I've become that guy who sits alone in his living room cheering at the TV. <laughs> I'm such a loser. <laughs> Coming. Jeez, give me a second. At least I'm moving quicker than this defense. <laughs> Kevin, buddy! Um, hey, Mr. Dietrich. Great to see ya. Oh, oh, I guess we're hugging. Yep, big bear hug. What are you doing here? I I mean, sorry. Oh, come on in, sir. Who are you calling, sir? You're not dating my daughter anymore, Kevbo. Kevbo? <laughs> Call me Frank. Okay, uh... Frank, what's up? Is Jess with you, or did you want to talk about Jess, or is something wrong with Jess? Honestly, I'm not great, bud. Brass tacks, I need a place to live for a while. Uh... <laughs> oh, but don't worry, I brought my own air mattress. <laughs> um, well, sir, I, I mean, Frank, I guess you can stay here, but... I have a date coming over in like an hour. Ooh. I gotta get ready, and I already got two other dads. Listen, dudester. Dudester? <laughs> I know you're my daughter's ex-boyfriend, and this might feel a little, you know, awkward, but I got nowhere else to go. I really need a place to stay. Please? Aww. Oh, wow, um, I'm sorry. Did you and Mrs. Dietrich... <clears throat> split up, or...? Oh, no, no, not not at all. No. They're doing construction on our bedroom. Yeah, We got weak floors. <laughs> the Sharon is uh, staying at her sister's, and her, uh, her sister does not like me. <laughs> you know, I don't really have any buddies my age, you know? Yeah, I never was good at making friends. Well, anyway, my daughter, Jess. Mm-hmm. You remember her? Uh huh. Your ex girlfriend? I remember. You know, you guys split up after last Christmas? Uh huh. You know, the one where we bought you two a gift card to Pier One Imports? Uh huh. It was something about how you're bad at communicating. Uh huh. Do you remember this? I remember why your daughter dumped me, Frank. <laughs> well, she mentioned you had your own place now. And I thought, hey, me and you really hit it off every time we'd. You know, be watching TV together while Jess and her mother were in the kitchen, you know, talking about whatever. So I figured, what the hell? I got an air mattress. I'll see if that guy will let me sleep at his place. Oh, hey, you're watching the game. Nice. Um, okay. This is normal. <laughs> What's up with these chips, Kev? It's, it's all crumbs. They're getting everywhere. My shirt's a mess. So, how long do you think you'll be staying here? Because I have that big date tonight I told you about, and I'm going to need privacy. Ooh. And I actually already have two other house guests. And he hands me a Cat 6 cable. <laughs> the Buick of Electrical Circuitry. Well, well, well. Who do we have here, Kevbo? What is with this Kevbo thing today? <laughs> As you can see, Frank, I already have two other men staying with me. Hi, hi, hey, fellas. Who's this guy? He's my ex-girlfriend's dad. <laughs>
His name's Frank. I used to date his daughter Jess like two years ago. I didn't invite him here. He just showed up like you guys. Oh, uh, but we go way back, don't we, Kevbo? <laughs> Who are these two guys? This is Enrique Don and David Helmick. I dated Mr. Don's daughter. Uh, uh, uh. Kevin, we talked about this. <laughs> I mean, I dated Enrique's daughter, Nicole, and David's daughter, Tiffany. At separate times? You better have. Where's, Where's my, my shotgun? shotgun? <laughs> <laughs> We always say that. Enrique and David are both my ex-girlfriend's dads, too. Oh, Kevin. Aren't you going to introduce us formally? (laughs) (sighs) Enrique, David, I'd like you to meet Frank. Frank, meet Enrique and David. Hi, I'm David. Hi, it's Frank. What was that? Frank, yeah, with an F, yeah. Oh, Frank is actually my brother's name. Uh-huh. Well, brother, brother-in-law. <laughs> no kidding. Enrique, right? How are you? Oh, I'm good. You? Good. 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 Good! <laughs> well, the game's on, so let's take a seat. All three of you aren't going to be able to fit. It's a love seat. <laughs> No, we'll all fit. We're all gonna fit. Okay. I'll sit on the end. Okay. 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 I need the left armrest for my broken arm. I'll, I'll sit on the end. I actually prefer the middle. Someone shoes in my butt. <laughs> so, what brought you guys to Kevin's? Enrique, I'm guessing the cast on your left arm has something to do with your story. <laughs> Bingo, Frank! I broke my arm trying to slide across the hood of my car in front of my co-workers. I'm kind of the class clown at work. Enrique's hilarious. You'll see, Frank. Me? I'm more of the steady Eddie of the crew. Right, Enrique? Absolutely, David. Dr. Lemcall over at St. Cedar says I'll be in the cast for four to ten weeks. Uh-huh. But three weeks with good behavior. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Sure, yeah, sure. Three weeks. Anyway, I swore to my wife a few months ago that I'd stop it with the goofball antics at work. So after I broke my arm, I told her a little white lie. She thinks I'm on a work trip in the Czech Republic. (laughs) Oh, great beer in the Czech Republic. I've I've heard. Right, Uh uh-huh. I think I've also heard that. Uh Uh-huh, yeah, I heard that. It's the best. (laughs) And what's your story, David? Well, I got divorced and my wife won the house. Uh Uh-huh. And all our friends. Uh Uh-huh. It was the best Uh and worst decision I've ever made. (laughs) But Uh I miss everything about my marriage. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Anyway, what's your story, Frank? Ah, uh, my bedroom's under construction. Weak floors. <laughs> eh, switching from Jasper to Oak. Uh-huh. Oak makes for a stronger beam. I definitely heard that about Oak Beams. <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun group. I can tell. You know, it makes me think that this temporary living arrangement could become more semi-permanent. Well... <laughs> Maybe, but let's hold our horses for now, Mr. Dietrich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's, let's hold, hold our, our horses, horses for, for now, now, Mr. Dietrich. Dietrich. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Okay, just a reminder, guys. Tonight is the first time my new girlfriend Stephanie and I are hanging out alone. So I need you guys gone before she gets here. Sure thing, Kevbo. And you know, Frank, it is a lot of fun here. But me... David and Kevin, we got a lot of chemistry. It's going to take you a while to get into the flow. I, I hear you loud and clear. But speaking of holding things, I can't anymore. I'm going to go drop a piss bomb and grab another Wild Cherry Pepsi. Anyone want more Wild Cherry Pepsi while I'm up? Oh, yes, please. yes, please. Yeah, bring I'll me one. one. No, I'm good. How many Wild Cherry Pepsis have you guys had already anyway? <laughs> Three Wild Cherry Pepsis coming up. You've got to be kidding me. 
<laughs> oh, don't worry, Kevbo. We'll see who it is. Whoa! Look! Yeah! Very cool motorcycle alert! <laughs> Kev, hey, come look. Yeah, now this guy is cool. He's got black, slick back hair, tight jeans, and a... Oh, my God. So many keys hanging off his belt. I wonder what this guy's name is. It's probably Axel, you know? Or Drake. Or... Henry. His name is Ray. I haven't seen him since me and his daughter Trinity broke up. Oh, oh my, my god, god. He's, he's walking, walking towards, towards us. He's walking towards <laughs> us. Why are you guys hiding behind the couch? <laughs> Hey, Mr. S- Samuels. Kevin, we talked about this, baby. You can call me Ray. So cool. Hi, uh, Ray. What's going on? Is Trinity with you, or... Did you have something to say to me about Trinity? I need a place to crash while I move a few financials around. If you know what I mean, baby. Very cool. I just thought, me and you always got along when we watched TV together while you were waiting for Trinity to get ready to go out. So I figured I'd grab the old air mattress and hit the road. And live in your house, baby. Me too! I did that too. Whoa, where'd you guys come from? (laughs) Well, Ray, I actually already have some of my other ex-girlfriend's dads living with me, so I don't know if there's room. We could make room. But, you know, we'll have to see if you can fit in, because we've kind of got our own chemistry. Shut up, noob! Don't listen to Frank, Ray. You are welcome with open arms. Cool, baby. Okay, fine. But don't get too comfortable. Stephanie's gonna be here soon. She's my new girlfriend, and tonight... <clears throat> Kevin? Kevbo, don't you, uh, wanna introduce us? <laughs> okay. Ray, this is Frank and Enrique. I used to date their daughters. Frank and Enrique, this is Ray. Hi, baby, I'm Ray. Ray, how are ya? I'm fine. Hi, Ray. What was your name again, baby? Was it Ricky? Enrique, yeah, yeah. Hope there's not a quiz later, baby. <laughs> no. You know, my boss's name was Ray. Cool, baby. I mean, is, is Ray. My boss's name is Ray. <laughs> it's wild cherry time. Hey, David, check it out. This is Ray. He's going to be living here, too. Awesome. Yeah, yeah I know. Isn't, Isn't he, he so, so cool? cool? That's cool, baby. Um, Kev? Little help? Jeez. <laughs> David, this is Ray. I dated his daughter Trinity. Ray, this is David. I dated his daughter Tiffany. Huh, that rhymes. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Hey, how are you? I'm good, baby. David. Hi, I'm Ray. My neighbor's name, well, down the street neighbor's name, is Ray. That's cool, baby. He actually lives a few streets over, but his name's Ray, so... <laughs> All right, boys. It sounds like the kids got a hot date and we got a scoop, baby. What are we getting up to? Yeah, all right, boys. What are we getting up to? I don't care where you go. Just stay away from here. I haven't had the best luck dating lately, as you guys all know. And I actually think Stephanie might be the one. I cannot risk messing this up. I've got an idea. I think I'm thinking the same thing. The The butcher butcher shop. shop. Great. The only way this living situation is going to work is if you guys agree to go to the butcher shop or wherever anytime I need the place to myself. Okay? Cabish. Very cool, baby. <laughs> oh, crap. It's Stephanie. She's early. Quick. Hide. Oof. Ouch. Ouch. I gotta get under the scooch. Scooch. Move, 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 move,
Hi, Kevin. Stephanie, hey, you look great. What are a Harley Davidson and three Ford Tauruses doing in your driveway? Oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm watching my neighbor's cars while they're all on their separate vacations. <laughs> you know what? I want to hug you. Come here. Oh, wow. Tight squeeze. Okay, guys. Get out of here now. Such a nice go. long hug. Go, go, go. Did you just say something, Kevin? Oh, just asking, how are you? You smell great. Is that a lavender scent? It is lavender. Good nose on you. Anyway, my dad said to say hi. He's been having a tough time since my mom went away. Oh. Well, tell Jeff I said hi back. We've had a few good conversations while waiting for you to finish going to the bathroom. I like him. And my dad really likes you, too. Come here, big boy. <laughs> well, I guess my life ain't so bad. <laughs> So that's two pounds of lamb shank, five pounds of 80-20 ground round, and I threw in four pork chops on the house. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's so sweet. Thanks, Rita. I always love visiting your butcher shop. I tell all my friends you have to go to Sweet Rita's Meats and Cuts. It's the best butcher shop in town. Appreciate that, Mrs. Bentweather. I hope to one day pass this old butcher shop down to my daughter, Bella. That's why I gotta work in part-time. Ain't that right, Bella? Um, yeah, I, I wanna own a butcher shop, I guess. Okay, thanks, Bella. Now get in the back and start sawing those cow thighs off the cow bodies. Okay, Mom. Do you think, uh, by any chance I could leave work 15 minutes early today to get to my singing lessons? Of course not. Bella, this is a family business. And family comes first. You're getting too old for singing lessons anyway. What are you going to be, a professional singer or something? (laughs) Now get to sawing those cow thighs. Okay, yeah, you're right, Mom. I'm just being silly, as usual. Okay, Mrs. Bentweather. Total comes to 42.35. Here you go. Thanks, Rita. Perfect. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time at Sweet Rita's Meats and Cuts. Tell your husband and the kids I said hi, okay? I certainly will, Rita. Gentlemen. Ma'am. Good day. Good day. Nice to see you. Have a good day, baby. Oh, I am loving this butcher shop, fellas. It reminds me a lot of the butcher shop I hang out at in my uh, my other neighborhood. We sit in this waiting area a few afternoons a week. Don't we, Enrique? Rita keeps a great collection of electronic store circulars. Whoa, check this out. Radio Shack's having a clearance sale on all wires. Let me see that. Wow, you're not kidding. Everything's half off. Single strand, triplex both main feeder and panel feed wires. What about sizes? The shop here could use a PVC upgrade. They got small and medium gauge for practically the same price. I was just saying the other day how I need a replacement medium panel feed for the circuit breaker at my wife's ex-wife's house. (laughs) Uh, I gotta get used to saying that. Oh, can you check if they have any coaxials? It's it's for my transistor. (laughs) Coaxial? We're talking wires, Frank, not cables. <laughs> yeah, Frank, a wire is a single conductor, not two or more insulated wires. That's a cable. Yikes, Frank. You better get your cables and wires straight if you want to fit in around here. I know. You're right, yeah. I'm sorry. We should go out to the shack tomorrow, first thing in the morning get a jump on these deals maybe and i'm just spitballing here but maybe we could all ride on race harley save on parking (laughs) 
Yeah. Room vroom. I do all my shopping online. <laughs> nice. I shop online sometimes. You know, Amazon, Google Store, Bing Shop. <laughs> Actually, Frank, can you move over to that bench way over there? Oh. I feel like I'm on an economy airline over here. Um. <laughs> yeah, are you gonna, like, charge me to carry on my wallet? <laughs> <laughs> A good one. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, ju I'll just sit over here. I'm a little far away. <laughs> Yeah, can you guys hear me or... Anyways. <laughs> do you guys see this? Three foot UCPs at deep discounts? This is straight up wire porn. Oh, wow. Okay, for that price? Yeah, yeah. look okay. at that one. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. You guys, I can't see, so can you, can you just tilt the paper a little bit? <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, Frank. Get it together. We have to find some way to fit in with this crew. Oh, wow. Look at Rita Chop Meat up there. Hmm. Should I dare? Yes, I'm gonna do it. Hey there, uh, Rita? Yeah, nice moves. <laughs> do you mind if I give it a try? Of course, chop away. Gives me a chance to rest my aching dogs. <laughs> okay, Frank. You remember all the moves. Let's show them what we got. Chop, chop, flip, boom, step down, chop, okay, uh, slice, flip, up, up, down, slice, in, quarter, half, chop, and around the back, and through, up. Chop, so chop. you want to twist a THWN wire with an XHHN? Stamp down. National chop. Electrical Code slice. would not be happy Up. about that, Enrique. The NEC can slice. lick my ass. <laughs> chop around the back and through. Up. Yes. Around the back and through. Whoop. Around the back and up. Whoa. Hold that thought, Enrique. Take a look at the new guy. Oh, this? Yeah. yeah. I used to be a... Being an assistant butcher boy, you know, <laughs> before I got married. And I picked up a few tricks at some <clears throat> local meat markets. Then, uh, yeah, I took my, then I took my show on the road. Yeah, I called my act Frank Dietrich's Dank Meat Tricks. <laughs> of course, back then, I was a younger, ooh, yup! Mm. A much younger man. That was awesome. Cool moves, meat dude. Nice moves, meat dude. You just ate a raw pork shank. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks, guys. You know, me and David were a little skeptical about other dads of Kevin's girlfriends staying with us. Except Ray, of course. Oh, of course. But we gotta admit, you're a nice guy. And those meat tricks, pretty darn cool. You know what I think? I think you're going to be a great addition to this group, Frank. Oh, thanks, guys. You know, in the past, I've had trouble making buddies. But all that's in the past now. This new living situation is going to be pretty darn fun. I'm in. Yeah! yeah cool, awesome! baby! You know, the National Electric Code is another engine of the Democratic Party who wield unchecked power over our own wires. And as a result, our lives. Oh, yes, Absolutely. I heard that. I've heard that, Good too. Uh-huh. I've read that That's as well. That's a cool point, baby. You're the cutest. You are. <laughs> no, you're, you're the so cutest. Cute. No, you are. You you're are so cute. cute. No, you're cuter. You're cuter. <laughs>
I don't know why you were so hesitant to have me over your house, Kevin. It's nice. Thanks. I just wanted to make sure it was good enough for you. It's more than good enough for me, Kevin. It's great enough for me. Just like you. I wonder if this is good enough for you. (laughs) Don't be too impressed. I'm renting. (laughs) Oh, well, do you have a roommate? Hmm, uh, (laughs) yeah, you you might call them uh, roommates. There's actually a few of them. Oh, yeah? What are they like? Uh, well, they're all guys. Uh, what else? What else about them? They're guys. Uh, Tell her about us. I told you they were guys. Tell her! Uh, You're not ashamed you're not of us. You're not ashamed of us. Guys. Are you? They have other things no, about it's them. it's sweet but... to live with your ex-girlfriend's dads. It's not weird. They're all a little older than me. Tell her about Um, us. Yeah, all of them are pretty normal. Yeah, a very normal roommate situation. Tell her about us. Uh, The only real weird thing I can think of is that one of them... Tell her. His name's David. Tell her. He has this rare condition where he can only pee if his penis is submerged in water. Tell her. It's called submergination, which... Is kind of interesting. Tell, really. her, Tell her about us. Tell her, baby. Other than that, though, yeah, they're normal roommates. Nothing weird about them or us as a group at all. Yep, just David with a submerged penis urinating thing. Tell, Tell her, her now, now Kevin. Tell her. Cool, baby. But it is an established medical condition. <laughs> And that's everything I have to say about my roommates. Huh. Okay. Now, get over here again. (laughs) 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 Hey! Hey, Kevbo! Why didn't you tell me you live with such great, funny guys? I would have moved in years ago. Kevin, what's going on? (laughs) Sorry, Stephanie. Give me a moment. Guys! What are you doing home? I told you I had a date tonight. David had to pee and the butcher shop only has waterless urinals. Coming through. (sighs) It's okay, Kevin. I was just startled. Are these your, um, uncles? I didn't want to tell you this so soon, but... I actually live with four of my ex-girlfriend's dads. I know that might seem strange, but the fact is, I actually did hit it off with these guys while I was in a relationship with their daughters. It was easy to talk to them while watching sports or a reality TV show about Alaskan real estate on TV when I was waiting for their daughter to show a new top she just bought to her mom in another room. In other situations like that, They all happen to need a place to stay right now. They have nowhere else to go, so they came here. Air mattresses in hand. And who am I to turn away someone in need? (coughs) Kevbo, don't you, uh, wanna... Oh, right, sorry. Stephanie, this is Frank, Enrique, and Ray. Guys, this is Stephanie. Hola, me llamo Enrique. Hi. Hi, my name's Frank. Nice to meet you, Stephanie. Very cool to meet you, baby. Hi. Be ready, there's going to be a quiz later, right? (laughs) Stephanie is actually my cousin's name. (laughs) Uh, Sorry for barging through like that. I I really had to go. Did I miss anything? And this is David. He's the one I was telling you about with the submerged penis thing. Hi, David. Nice to meet you, Stephanie. Stephanie is my cousin's name. It's a great name. Well, Kevin, we brought home a bunch of meat from Rita's. She gave us half price on these cuts because they're mostly gristle. Want to eat? You'd know I'd love to, but as you can see, I kind of got company. So maybe you guys want to... I got an idea, guys. Why don't we put our meat 
in the freezer to uh keep it fresh yeah that's right we're gonna go into the kitchen because you know because of the meat and so you guys can be alone <laughs> for your date <laughs> Jeez, meat man don't be so obvious you know what kevin it's getting pretty late i should go it was nice meeting you all yeah, yeah whatever, great okay yeah, whatever, whatever okay. baby kevin Stephanie, I swear we'll have time to ourselves soon. I made it clear to them they have to go to the butchers whenever you come over. And I'm going to make it's sure... It's awkward that you live with so many older men who know that you boinked their daughters. That's true, but they don't seem to mind at all. <laughs> I just don't want to get too serious with someone who can't let go of old relationships. But I didn't ask them to come live with me. They each just showed up independently. It's okay, Kevin. You're a good guy. But it's pretty clear you have some issues to work out. Maybe I'll call you in a few weeks when this situation changes. Stephanie, please. Aww. Actually, I probably won't call you. This is tough for me too, Kevin, but it's for the best. We should break up. Bye. <laughs> What just happened? Don't worry about it, Kevbo. You'll get him next time. There's always more fish in the sea. Yeah, Kevbo, she was a stupid fucking bitch anyway. Whoa! Whoa Jesus man. Christ, Frank. Way over the line. That's not cool, meat man. Sorry, sorry. I, I've always been bad at this kind of stuff, but, but I'm learning. <laughs> Ugh, what is wrong with me? I'm going to be single for the rest of my life. This sucks. I know what'll make you feel better. Guys, let's, let's eat meat. Let's eat meat, let's meat. Eat meat let's baby. Meat. Let's eat meat. Let's eat meat. Let's, let's eat, meat. eat meat. Eat meat. My life is a mess. <laughs> Thanks for getting meat for dinner tonight, guys, but I'm just not in the mood to eat. I gotta figure out why I keep getting dumped. You're gonna be fine, Kevin. If anyone can help you with this, it's us. Four men who intimately know how and why you were dumped because our wives told us after our daughter told them. <laughs> but you can't do anything on an empty stomach. I'm so hungry I can eat a horse. I could eat a dead horse, too. <laughs> Fellas, I'm thinking spaghetti and meatballs. Yeah, yeah let's, let's cook. 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 Yeah, 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 let's cook. Let's cook. Yeah, let's cook. Yeah, let's cook. Yeah, let's cook. Yeah, yeah, those let's meatballs, cook. baby. It takes a lot to make a hole. There's no formula so long as you're not alone. We'll work together and love each other. Just us guys making our way in the world. Mmm, great job cooking, guys. This spaghetti and meatballs is gonna be super. You know, Kevbo, I know a gal you might just click with. She's super sweet, smart, and... Isn't your daughter Tiffany who dumped me? <laughs> yeah, but maybe she changed her mind. She dumped me because she said I didn't communicate well. She also said, and I quote, don't even try to change my mind or I'll get super pissed. <laughs> hey, that's what my daughter said about Kevin, too. I know. I've been saying this. Do you guys listen to me? What is wrong with you guys? Let's set the table. Yeah. yeah let's, let's set the, set the table. table. Yeah, let's, let's, set let's set the, set the table. table. Fine. Let's set the table. It may not be traditional, but I'm always there to catch you when you A feast and a perfectly set table. It's a beautiful sight. Kevbo, buddy, I know you're upset, but you can't cry over spilled milk. 
I just can't keep doing the same thing over and over again and expect to get out of this rut. I'm sick of dating. I want a real, deep, meaningful relationship. When am I going to find the one? My father always told me, never make any big decisions before you eat. So, shall we? Let us pray. Bless, Bless the Lord, Lord. and his thy gift. We may not think it's normal in this PC world to praise you for gifts. Call thy gift. Pray together, respect each other's through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen, baby. Amen. Amen. Bon appetit, gentlemen. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah let's, let's, let's eat. eat. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's eat. Let's yeah, let's eat. Yeah, let's eat those meatballs, baby. It's finally dinner time. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh. Mmm. Mmm. This tastes like my grandma's spaghetti and meatballs. <laughs> I'm so full. Getting some fresh air was a great idea. Oh, I love your backyard deck, Kev. By the way, are, are these beams cedar? I don't know, Frank. They seem cedar to me. <laughs> Anyone want a cigarette? Yeah, yes, why sir. not? I'll have one. Light me up. No thanks, baby. That was a great family dinner. That's right. We're a family now. You know, Kevbo... My daughter Jess always liked you. Yeah. Until she dumped you. And I used to feel bad that you two broke up, but maybe, and hear me out here, maybe your breakup was all for the best. Hear, hear, hear! No, I don't think it was for the best, Frank. Jess and Tiffany said I have communication issues. Stephanie just told me I can't let go of my past. I have problems, guys. Real psychological or emotional or, I don't know, real personal problems that are preventing me from having lasting romantic relationships. Somehow I'm better at being in relationships with middle-aged fathers than with women my own age. I'm even starting to hear your voices in my head. I mean, they give me good Excuse advice, me? but still, Excuse that's... Excuse me, gentlemen? Who the hell's there, damn it? Whoa, whoa, Frank, call off your dogs. It's just Bella. Reader's daughter from the butcher shop. Oh, sorry, sweetheart. Sorry. Come, join us. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. No one answered the front door, and I smelled a cloud of cigarette smoke coming from back here. The reason I'm here, my mom found some extra gristled beef in the back of the freezer and thought since you guys loved the fresh gristle so much, you might want some old gristle to make a gristle stew. Heck yeah, we do! <laughs> guys... Take a look at this gristle. Wow. It feels so tough. And almost unfrozen. Cool, baby. Wow, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is great. Okay, well, gristle right, stew. Right, right. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. This is a sticky gristle. This is something to chew on. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of when I ate all that gristle at the fair. <laughs> Sorry about that. These guys are animals for that gristle. Hi, I'm Kevin. I know. I, I, I mean... Hi, I'm Bella. I know who you are because I heard the guys talking about you at the shop earlier. Uh, they said so many good things about you. All good things, I hope. Or, I mean, you just said they were all good things. So, uh, uh, dislodge foot from mouth, Kevin. <laughs> Port her. Sorry. Never know what to say. Ask her what she does for a living. So, Bella, what do you do for a living? Me? I'm just a butcher's apprentice at my mom's shop. But what I really want to be is a singer. Oh, awesome. That's so cool. I live with four middle-aged men in a house that I rent. <laughs> what I really want to be? is a homeowner. Wow, that is so cool too. 
flirt with her. Compliment her appearance. Compliment her on something she does well, baby. You know, these guys spend, like, all their time at your mom's shop. They always say how <clears throat> how clean it is and how nice everyone is who works there. Ask her out. Anyway, I think you should be a singer. Everybody, ask, ask her out. Ask her out. I was also wondering if you maybe wanted to go out with me? Yes. I, I mean, that sounds... Nice. Actually, can I ask you a question first? Do you think your dad would like me? Like, a lot? Oh, uh, no. It's just me and my mom. My dad died when I was young. A cha ching <laughs> Okay, great. I'll stop by the butcher shop tomorrow and we can iron out the details. I can't wait. Oh, shoot. I need to get back to the shop for the overnight hog bleed. I hope your uncles, or whoever those guys are, like the gristle. Bye! See you tomorrow, Bella. I... I can't wait. Kevin, you you didn't give Bella any money for this gristle, did you? Because she said it was free. (laughs) No, no, I was just making plans with her. She told me it was free. (laughs) You know what, Kevbo? Something tells me this group is going to get into a lot of trouble. Good trouble! (laughs) <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Good trouble. Yeah. Maybe we will. Kevbo, it's so good to hear a little positivity in your voice. It sure is nice seeing a smile on that handsome face, too. Yeah, I guess I just realized... Bad things happen, sure, but... Sometimes, bad things happen for the best. Hear, hear. Well, I'm about to hit the hay. You guys good? You need any sheets or pillows or extra blankets? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Definitely need that. Uh, yeah, I need a lot more stuff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, pretty much everything we said, I need some of that. We each Blanket. only brought an air mat. Very cool. So, I'm gonna need one of those airplane pillows, but to fit my butt. <laughs> Fine. Go blow up your beds, and I'll see what I have in the attic. Sounds good, Kevbo. It really does, Frank. All of this sounds real good. You know, if we push all these twin size air mattresses together once they're inflated, we'd make the equivalent of a California king. I like the way you think, new guy. I mean, meat man. Thanks, Enrique. What the heck? It's Mr. Hump, Stephanie's dad. <laughs> Mr. Hump, I mean, Jeff, what's going on? Is Stephanie okay? Listen, Kevbo, uh, I know my daughter Stephanie dumped you on your ass a few hours ago, and she ran off with a new guy named Derek. At first I thought Derek was you, but then I saw he actually had normal-sized arms, (laughs) much larger than your pipe cleaner biceps and chicken wing wrists. Oh, and by ran off, I mean Stephanie just went with Derek to the big beautiful house that Derek owns in the nice part of town. So they're not far away if you wanted to visit them or if you wanted to... Can I help you with something, Jeff? Oh, yeah. Anyway, I'm a bit lonely at home now that Stephanie and Derek left, and I just thought since since we got along that one time we were talking while watching Living Alaska on HGTV when Stephanie was drying her hair, I thought I'd come here to have a little company. Is everything okay with your wife? Yeah. I mean, no. Stephanie's mom... My wife, she, uh, she had to go to Iraq. Oh, no. Again. 
Oh, that's why Stephanie was acting weird with me earlier. She was just worried about her mom going back to Iraq. No, she was looking for an excuse to break up with you because she had a crush on Derek. Plus, she never actually liked you that much. She just felt sorry for you, but, uh... But I like you. We all love Kevin. (laughs) Thanks, guys. I guess until I find the one, I'll just have to be fine going on life's adventures alone. Aww. Well... Not totally alone. It'll be me and my five ex-girlfriend's dads. Yeah! Yeah. Very cool. Me and My Five Ex-Girlfriend's Dads was written, directed, and produced by Ben Wheat Martian and is a product of The Board's Podcast Productions. Starring Ben Wheat Martian, Drew Johnston, Lou Gonzalez, Ken Beck, Caroline Cotter, Kelly Hudson, Maggie Widows, and Arthur Meyer. Music by Mac Watson and artwork by Nikki Osborne. Executive produced by Ben Wheat Martian, Ashley Chavez, and Harrison P. Pants. To get in touch with the creator, email benwheatmartian at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.